Cerebrate, it's time we return to Shakuras. I have some unfinished business with the Dark Templar Matriarch, Rashagal. I need to steal her from her tribe before we can finally assault the Overmind on Char. However, her defenders will not simply allow us to take her away. The piling clusters are generating some sort of electromagnetic field that is preventing our flyers from maneuvering. We won't have any air support at all. Then we'll need some new strategy. Perhaps it would be best if we stage some kind of diversion, my queen, and claim the Matriarch during the confusion. What did you have in mind, Duran? The Protoss outpost of Telematros is built upon a large mesa and is essentially impregnable to ground attacks. However, Telematros is fueled and supported by a number of adjacent pylon clusters. I believe that if we can cause a surge within those pylon clusters, we can cause Telematros power grids to overload. The resulting explosion will be the perfect cover for retrieving the Matriarch. Queen, simple, devious. I like it. Make it happen, Duran. Cerebrit, you'll provide cover for Duran as he infiltrates the pylon clusters. Let nothing stand in our way. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Oh look, Duran has consumed now. He can consume for energy. We have to bring Duran to one, two, three, four, five pylon clusters to make the big nexus blow up. So, let's get to it. Whoa, I think my volume is turned up a little high. Um, no, it's probably just my computer volume. Just one sec. Okay, I'm back. And yes, it was just my computer volume that was turned up too high. Not the volume from the game. So, in order to get Duran to each of these pylon clusters, I have a feeling we are going to have to build up quite an army. I mean, I could try and see how far I can scout with Duran alone. But they could have lots of cloaking stuff everywhere, so... I mean, look at that, they, they do have... have, uh... photon cannons already, so... let's see what's directly up here. Oh, there's an observer. Okay. Okay, so we can't send Duran in alone, so let's just quickly build up a small army. I have a feeling I won't need much in order to get the uh, first thing out of the way. Uh, since we're against the Protoss, Zerglings won't be so effective right away. So I'm just gonna build... well, I guess I'm gonna build Overlords then. Let's just get these Overlords built. Um, I'm not gonna have to rely so much on cloak stuff, because, well, then again, this is, you know, the home of the Dark Templar, so maybe I will. Oh, look at that. Durand does quite a bit of damage. Okay, so we will have to worry about Dark Templar after all, which is to be expected, I suppose but annoying nonetheless. Okay. Look at my Hydralist dance. Dee Okay. Let's just not make my Hydralist dance like that. I'll get one more in gas. There we go. Maximum gas production. Now we can get lots of drones, so I can make more stuff, get a lair when I can, because a lair would be fantabulous. Like I said, Protoss are kind of annoying for me, as you guys have already known. I'm not a big fan of fighting Protoss. So, 
wonder if there are cannons all the way up here. Cool. Let's get faster that movement too. I mean, I imagine it would be handy to have lurkers this mission, but at the same time, I don't know. Either way, we got another base up here, which I think I'm going to take as soon as possible. Go exploring with some zerglings. See what's over here to the base's left. See if there's any way for those guys to get up there. Oh, yeah, there's a way for people to get up here. Hmm. Oh, I heard something finish. Huh, I already start with... I... Okay, it seems I can't drop this mission. I guess they must have thought of that, so... Okay, that would explain... That would explain that, then. If you form an extractor, you can make a hatchery... There we go. And the other one can just kind of chill. Chill out. Uh-oh, those drones are dead. I think. Nope, they decided to go out the other way. I distracted them just long enough. Okay, so Zerglings do die very fast, it seems. Oh, I didn't cancel that. Well, here's to hoping that they don't ever come up here. Uh, and I hope they don't, because otherwise I am dead. Uh, okay, let's get some upgrades happening. I'm just going to upgrade these guys as quick as possible. I know normally it doesn't happen until late, late game. I would like to happen a little sooner. Like I said, hopefully they never notice that my base is up here. Ever. Otherwise I'm doomed. Cerebret. I don't know if Burrow is going to be so important. Let's just get some more drones. How can I be of service? And again, these sunken colonies are pretty beastly, so maybe I should lure them back to them. Who knows? Let's get these guys mining. Yeah, let's just have them all mine there. These guys can mine in their own little special way. Uh, lurkers, do I need them? They would be fun to have to defend. I'll get lurkers. No, I won't. If I need them later, then I will, but right now I'm gonna say... Oh, right. Right, like they were saying, there's no air, so I can't make mutilists. Okay, that's fair. I am okay with this. That just means there's less upgrades for me to get. And more ground units to make. Grand should probably hang back a little bit. Wonder what Duran says. Is there a problem? I like your style, friend. Oh, that's not locked down. There we go.
Lockdown initiative. I hear scouts. Oh, here they are. Hey, coming from over here. Hydras. Let's make you into a hive. I'm not gonna bother making any queens. I am, however, gonna make everyone here mine gas for now. Evolution complete. Evolution complete. Hydralisk get upgraded first. Hmm. Today, I actually am recording this um, a couple hours after I recorded last the last two-part episode I just did, the last mission. I was hungry, so I had to go make dinner. And I made this weird stew stuff. Well, not really stew, it was just sort of meat and, and canned vegetables. But, it was really good, because I threw baby corn in it, and I haven't had these in forever, so I decided, why not? And it was glorious. Whoa. Whoa, why do I have no overlords? I should have overlords up here, but I do not. That is incredibly silly. Especially since I'm on, you know, the home planet of the Dark Templar. Chirp, derp. Take it out on their neutral creatures. Of course. Let's give you guys some more mining buddies. Those are almost there. Um, don't really know which way to go first. I think I'm gonna make some creep colonies. Fine, I'll make more overlords. May as well do that since I don't really have anything else to up spend my money on. You guys, make some overlords. Come on, guys. You're totally you gonna make him over your Come on, guy. I'm here. Right, you guys can come down here. I have enough overlordage over here. Sort of. Okay, those guys are almost upgraded. I am almost mined out. There's another base up here. Which I can get to. I think I will exchange some creep. Send a guy up right away. I'll send some hydralis to protect him. Hopefully that will be enough. You guys keep mining. There's nothing in this game. I just gotta come back. 
back. You can turn into a sunken. I need more larvae. I am actually doing really well for mining in this mission. Which means I'm probably going to go real heavy on the ultralists come late game. Uh, you guys can come up here. I will have you make another sunken colony. No, come up this way. You're no specialer than the rest of them. Um, I'll send another one of these guys up here to reinforce the defenses. I don't know why you were there, but get work, get to work, get work, getting paid. I don't know why I said getting paid, but oh shit, we got a reaver. That is bullshit. Everyone knows how I feel about Reavers. If he comes to life, he's gonna kill me in one hit. So I hope he doesn't. Good. Reavers! Reavers! Party time! Excellent. I say that, but in reality, I have never seen wind. What a hosier. Well, I think this base is pretty dead. I don't see any victory coming. Oh. Well, there's my victory. I didn't expect those hydralists to pop up so fast. However, it has taught me a valuable lesson. And that is, oh my god, I'm gonna die. You will not kill it before I kill you. Yes. Distract yourself with the puny zergling. I mean puny drone. Perfect. Okay, now I just have to make a bunch more of these. Cool, evolution complete. Wow, I'm pretty evolved. Pretty evolution completed. Uh, you turn into an ultralisk cavern. Oh, Reavers. Uh oh, Reavers. What do you need? Okay, these guys cannot be allowed to live. I'll take care of it. Of course. I'll take care of it. Well, one of them can't be allowed to live. The other one seemed to have no problem with escaping. Okay, that guy's not falling for his plot.
Well, that observer is clearly going to die. Ultralisk armor. Let's make some ultralisks. Let's spawn more overlords. Instead, because I didn't really want to make any overlords anyway. This base is defended. For now. A little bit worried about these overlords or these uh, guys just kind of pacing around. No, I don't want to consume the cloak. I want to consume. Oh! Perfect. Perfect. And now you are going to make some zerglings, and you are going to make some zerglings. Well, what's going on? A carrier? What the shit? How dare they have Protoss units? Now what's going on? Okay. I heard forces are under attack, but maybe that was just the carriers. Who really knows? All through Earth. Okay. I have a lot of ultralists. I think it's about time these ultralisks went out and attacked something. Hydralisks can go with them. Okay. And then up here, we can have three and four. Plus these. No, you know what? Let's make some more of those. You guys can come up here. Three and four. Then I need some leftover overlords. There we go. Okay, that should be a bullshit enough army to be able to wreck some stuff. Just in case, I'll get some of these back home. Of course, I need more overlords. When do I not need more overlords? Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. these guys around all willy nilly. Have them each under a separate ultralisk. Well, this is going pretty swell. Uh, you guys can go ahead and go up here. Duran, you are needed down here, so let's go ahead and sneak along. I'm just gonna keep this defended until Duran comes along. I'm going to have sit, him set on hotkey 6, always. I'm here. Cloak. Is that an enemy ultralisk? What do you need? Okay, good. So Duran's all set for that one. Let's have him uncloak and come up here. Um, maybe I should have these guys come over here, actually. Just because I want it that way. I want it that way. There isn't too much droning happening over here, but that's fine. 
You guys can make more ultralisks because I said so. You guys can make more drones because that's funny. It's over here. Just went to that kind of stuff. I do want it all to escape, so one, you guys can escape over here. Two, I want you guys to kill these scouts. For the swarm. For the swarm. Okay, let's go exploring with these guys now. Oh, there's not much we can do over there, so let's head on up here. I do pretty 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 It's exactly how I feel when my guys just run in without detection. I heard pretty 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 You can be of service by cloaking and then running in. That's all done. Charge is set. You got it. All forces decloak and come over to this base over here and you guys can run up here where you shall be reinforced thusly by a bunch of ultralists uh, you guys three four let's have it on three so I can fit all of you yeah there we go Okay, coming back here, let's go ahead and move these guys forward. Oh, there's not much else here. Um, oh, I have to go around, it seems. Okay, I can do that. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh dear, we have a silly little Dark Templar. Uh, let's get some more of these guys in. And I... oh shit, that's how they were doing it. Uh, back up, everyone, back up. No, just run into the base. Kill, maim, destroy, swag, and all that. Where is that Dark Templar? I want to kill his guts. He probably ran, so I'm not gonna follow him. These guys are done mining, it seems, so I'll just move them all up here. And you guys can come up here. Normally I would love to take another base, but I'm not going to. Alrighty, come on up guys. Let's go ahead and escape into the next base. By that I mean I probably should expand to this bottom base. Oh shit! Okay, well that's the end of that base, so let's just go ahead and see what's up here. Well there's nothing over here, so let's go ahead and come up here. Oh shit! Well, I'm sure you guys have no problems dealing with those guys. Die. No. Dr. Duran, make your way up here. Please cloak before you do so. Uh, let's get a few zergling, or not zerglings, a few drones over here. These guys can defend, defend, defend. I am going to destroy you so hard. No, I'm not, because I'm actually afraid of you. Okay, what's going on up here? Um, 
Well, it seems ultralisks are going on up here quite fiercely. Uh, where's Duran? Duran is all the way up here for some reason. Will these guys be able to survive it out until Duran gets here? I sure hope so. Then again, I do have, you know, eight ultralisks. That doesn't really die too long. Okay, now I see what's happening. Duran couldn't get around these zerglings. I am idiot. I am big idiot. Kill the Archon first, then go ahead and kill everything. And there's stuff going on down here. I'm just gonna leave those guys be. Uh, actually, I want to make sure Duran doesn't die, because if he dies, then I lose the mission. This cluster is ready to overload. Okay, you guys are done. So all those pylon clusters are done, and I can't go any further up here, which means I must go around up this way, it seems. So let's just move everyone back to base where I shall be free as kitten. Are kittens that free though? I don't know. I'm going to assume they are, as I randomly thought of such a thing. Attack the Corsairs. Well, the Corsair. No! Okay. Well, there seems to be the carcass of an Ultralisk here. Which means that the Dark Archon strikes again. Okay, I think I have to make a new base over here, and I have to make it stick. Because, well, there isn't anything more up here that I can do, so everything has to be over here now. And I hate abandoning bases like this because it kind of leaves everything open. So I will leave a couple things still here. And over here I shall make another hatchery. And as is my style as of late, this Vespian Geyser is depleted. So I will make a Nidus Canoe. Kind of upgrade level 3 because I completely forgot about that. Where is Duran? Here he is. Do, 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 Duran. Okay, let's move these guys up here. Kind of want to move everything up there. So let's go ahead and do just that. You guys up here, you guys up here. There we go. Oh, and of course, overlords. Because otherwise, I'm just going to die to Dark Templar again. There's a lot more guys mining here than I would like, so you guys are going to come over here. These guys are fine the way they are. I'll just have these guys rally over here. You guys, everything rally into there. I think this is the first mission I've played in a long time where I haven't been stuck. Oh shit, there's a lot of, not a lot of stuff there. Okay, let's just lure these guys up here. No big deal. No big dealio. Oh shit! I didn't make a Nidus port actually. Which I would love to do because otherwise my base is going to die. Along with all of my tech stuff. Oh wait, I have Ultralisks here. How did those get there? I have no idea, but I'm glad that they did. Faster Ultralist movement, I didn't realize I didn't have that upgraded. I re finally, I require more Vespine gas. It's been a long time since I've seen that, and I'm glad I finally do. Because that reminded me to put these guys in Vespine gas. Teach them the ways of the Vespine gas. How many guys do I have here mining? 
Four. That is more than enough. Okay. You guys are going to go on over here. And assure you. These guys are going to stay here. One here and one here. Um, of course, I'm going to keep you guys down here for zerglings. You can jump up here, make some zerglings, and you can make some more drones. Alright. Let's continue with the bullshit. And by that I mean like actually, like, ult these ultralisks are like, a little bit too unfair. Normally I don't say that about too many things, but like, it, it actually is a little bit unfair. You guys and you guys are going to be number three. And these zerglings I'm going to keep back just in case of attack, so actually I'll stick them in here. Just in case something goes awry, they can stay back at base. Um, I'm going to make some more ultralisks. I am almost maxed out. That is disgusting. It's not disgusting that I'm maxed out, but it's disgusting that I'm almost maxed out on both zerglings, or ultralisks, and hydralisks. Okay, let's have you guys run up here. And completely into... oh shit. I really should have seen that coming. Alright everyone, run into here. Go ahead and just mate with each other for my... Uh, ultralisk mating. Now that's a thought. I never imagined myself thinking that before. But now the thought is there. Alright, Duran, let's go on and go ahead. Uh, where's Duran? Here he is, he just entered the base. You go ahead. Charges set. Cool. So now we only have one more base left to go to, and I still have my almost maxed army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duran is sticking behind just in case. Where are my overlords? Oh, here's one of them. I kind of need them in the base. I need to be able to see this stuff that I'm killing. Everyone, just run in. Okay, now attack. Where is Duran? Okay, there we go. Maybe I can get him to sneak up there. Everyone, you guys kind of block this way in. Alright, Duran, let's go ahead and see if this finishes the mission for you. Island cluster set to overload. Mm, the last charge is set. Dolimatrus will explode on your command. Very well. Cerebrate, send my minions down to the planet and have them retrieve the matriarch. Duran, ignite the charges. Ignition commencing. You got it. Three, two, one. Boom. Boom. And then everything blew up. Because the Zerg is not all about blowing stuff up anymore. It's about blowing stuff up with explosives instead of Zerg acid and spit. So that was a pretty nice mission, 38 minutes. I actually feel I did better in that mission than I have in any other mission. But then again, what mission can you not do well in when you completely overwhelm everyone with ultralisks? fully upgraded ultralisks. I have no idea. See you guys on the next episode of Let's Play StarCraft 1. 
Brood War, where we are going to go ahead and retrieve the matriarch, kidnap her and stuff. See you guys next time.